angels, a classification of 21 biblical terms. Terms used for angels in the Hebrew Bible Five biblical terms for angels, what they are. 1. Spirit, Ruach, Ruachot. Angels are members of God's heavenly host of spirit beings, entities that, by nature, are not embodied, at least in the sense of our human experience, of being physical in form. A spirit stepped forward and stood before the Lord. He said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouths of all his prophets. 2. Heavenly Ones Shamayim Angels serve as the heavenly host or council or assembly in the service of Yahweh. O Lord, the heavens praise your amazing deeds as well as your faithfulness in the angelic assembly. 3. Stars Kokabim The members of God's heavenly host are referred to as heavenly ones. It should come as no surprise that they are also called stars. I will climb up to the sky, above the stars of El. I will set up my throne. I will rule on the mountain of assembly. 4. Holy Ones Kodoshim These are spirit beings in Yahweh's service, with proximity to and association with the presence of God. Then the Lord my God will come with all his holy ones with him. 5. Gods, or divine beings Elohim the term Elohim describes spiritual beings that are clearly lesser than the God of Israel and include gods and goddesses of surrounding nations, territorial spirits, and the spirits of deceased people. You have the right to take what Chemosh your God gives you, but we will take the land of all whom the Lord our God has driven out before us. Terms for angels by their groupings 6. Assembly Cheda Chadath Angels dwell in assemblies, throngs, and communities, terms clearly describing groups of divine beings. God stands in the assembly of El, in the midst of the gods he renders judgment. 7. Council Sod any council of holy ones under Yahweh's direction. Do you listen in on God's secret counsel? Do you limit wisdom to yourself? 8. Congregation Kahal This assembly includes the sons of God and meets in the skies. O Lord, the heavens praise your amazing deeds, as well as your faithfulness in the angelic assembly. 9. Assembly, or Assembled Meeting Moched The notion that the assembly of the gods meets at a cosmic mountain is common across Near Eastern literature, wherever the stars of God meet with the Lord in the far north. I will set up my throne. I will rule on the mountain of assembly on the remote slopes of Zaphon. 10. Court, Dean, ten thousand times ten thousand stood before the Lord, the seated Ancient of Days. Thrones are put in place, and the court sat in judgment, rendering judgment. Many tens of thousands stood ready to serve him. The court convened and the books were opened. 11. Prince, Sar. Not all members of the heavenly host bear this title. The princes of the supernatural realm are to be identified with the sons of God assigned to the nations of the world. 
truly I am the commander of the Lord's army. Now I have arrived. Twelve terms for angels describing their assigned tasks. Twelve. Malak, Malakim. The term angel is basically a job description, a spirit being from God's heavenly host sent by God to deliver or to receive a message. The angel of God called to Hagar from heaven, Don't be afraid, for God has heard. 13. Minister, Mesharet, an angelic priesthood attending to the service of God. Praise the Lord, all you warriors of His, you servants of His who carry out His desires. 14. Watcher, Ir, Irin. These are the fallen sons of God in Genesis chapter 6 and as described in later literature. While I was watching in my mind's visions on my bed, a holy sentinel came down from heaven. 15. Host, Tzava, Tzavaot. Spirit beings in God's service, collectively referred to as the host of heaven, God's loyal heavenly agents. Praise the Lord, all you warriors of His, you servants of His who carry out His desires. 16. Mighty Ones Gibberim Angels are the mighty ones who do God's word, members of God's heavenly army. Praise the Lord, you angels of His, you powerful warriors who carry out His decrees and obey His orders. 17. Mighty Ones Abirim These heavenly beings are mighty ones associated with heaven, the dwelling place of God. He gave them the grain of heaven. Man ate the food of the mighty ones. 18. Mediator Melit A mediator is an angel providing mediation for human beings or an explanation of God's activity. If there is an angel beside him, one mediator out of a thousand, to tell a person what constitutes his uprightness. 19. Cherubim, Cherubim. These divine creatures have both human and bovine body parts, protecting the sanctity of God's presence. The cherubim spread their wings with their wheels alongside them while the glory of the God of Israel hovered above them. 20. Seraphim, Sheraphim. These divine creatures attend Yahweh's holy presence, protecting the sanctity of God's presence. I saw the sovereign master seated on a high, elevated throne. Seraph stood over him, each one had six wings. Three terms for angels in the Greek New Testament. Angel, Angelos. Angels are disembodied beings, having no need of physical procreation, though they can assume physical form and appear as men. Angels are intelligent beings who refuse worship. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared, and a light shone in the prison cell. Archangel, Archangelos. At least one archangel will participate in the proclamation of the return of Christ. No specific archangel is mentioned in the New Testament. The Lord himself will come down from heaven with a shout of command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. And spirit, panema, panemata. Any disembodied supernatural entity, including ministering spirits. The angels, are they not all ministering spirits, sent out to serve those who will inherit salvation? Purchase Dr. Heiser's 243-page book, in print or in audio, 
at lexampress.com or through any bookseller.